Hello and welcome to the Acunet CRM Tips and Tricks video blog where, where today I will show you how to uh, modify uh, a drop down list um, in an account and also modify um, how I view that data. And when I refer to view, uh, let me show you. Here I'm in accounts and this is where I mean by view. I want to uh, modify the um, category drop-down list that determines um, if this is a preferred customer or not. And so I want to add a couple items to that and then I want to add that category here to our view, to our um, standard My Active Accounts view. So to modify a field we must go to Settings and under Settings we need to select Customization and then customize entities. Now we want to modify a field that is on the account entity, so I'm going to double click account. And when this opens up, we will see here this item called attributes. Uh, fields in CRM are actually referred to as attributes. So the category field that we would like to modify is under attributes. And here it is coming up at the very top. Uh, if you can't find it, make sure you're looking under display name. Um, if I hit display name, it will alphabetize and then I scroll down and find category. So I'll open this field. And when this opens, uh, we will see that this is a pick list it is grayed out so you cannot uh, change a field type once you've already saved it uh, but you can modify that type so in this case we want to modify this drop down um, and I want to add a few more uh, items to category so we have preferred customer we have standard um, I want to add a on hold in case for some reason a customer would need to go on hold. So I'm hit OK. And then I want to sort, I'll just sort ascending, sort by alphabetical. If I wanted on hold at the bottom and this was so out of alphabetical order, I could just hit move down, move up. There we go. So I've added on hold. I want to hit save and close. And so that was the first change. So we modified the drop down. Now we want to modify the view. So I come here to Forms and Views, and I want to s modify uh, my Active Accounts view. So double click on this. And here is laid out those fields that we are seeing in my accounts. So I want to add. The category. So add columns, scroll down to find the category, hit OK, and there it is. Uh, say I'd like to know, I'd like to see this closer to the front, I just move it over and I will put it right next to the account. I'm going to hit save and close. And then let's also, for sake of argument, also change the active accounts view. So that if someone sel selects all active accounts, not just my active accounts, they also see category listed in there. So add. Add the category. And it is over here, so let's move it over. And there we go. Save and close. And then just as a side note, if you don't like your default view when you go into an entity to be my active accounts or my active contacts, say you just want to see all, you can select active contacts here and then you go to more actions and you select set default. Why don't I just select that and show you how that looks. So I want to save and close this and then I need to publish this. So I could hit publish here or I just like to be safe and hit publish all customizations. 
because if you just hit publish, it will only publish what is highlighted. So say you made also a um, customization in contacts and an account, and then you hit publish, only the account customizations would be uh, published. So this more, and then publish all customizations is sort of a catch-all. So let's go back to our accounts. Select accounts here. We'll close this. And here we go. We have our accounts. We have the category now, and we have main phone address, so forth. Now, none of these categories contain data, so if I would just open up a sample, and I could add um, details. So here on the details, I can say it's a preferred customer. Let's say advanced components. Um, let's call them just a standard customer. And you see how that information is showing up here. So that is how you make some minor customizations in CRM. And I encourage you to visit the Accu blog regularly to find more CRM tips and tricks video blogs. Thank you.